Meghnath Shah Meghnath Shah was astrophysicist best known for his development of the Saha equation used to describe chemical and physical conditions in stars. Meghnath Shah was born on the 6th October 1893 in a village near Dhaka in Bangladesh. His father Jagannath Shah had a grocery shop in the village. His family's financial condition was very bad. He studied in a village primary school while attending the family shop during free time. He got admitted into a middle school which was 7 miles away from his village. He stayed in a doctor's house near the school and had to work in that house to meet the cost of his living. He was ranked first in Dhaka Middle School test and got admitted in Dhaka Collegiate School. Saha graduated from Presidency College with a major in Mathematics and got the second rank in the University of Calcutta whereas the first was backed by Satyendranath Bose, S.N. Bose, another great scientist of India. In 1915, both S.N. Bose and Meghnath ranked first in MSc examination. Meghnath is applied mathematics and Bose in pure mathematics. Meghnath decided to do research in physics and applied mathematics. While in college, he got involved with the freedom struggle and came in contact with great leaders of his time like Shubhas Chandra Bose, Bagha Jatin. Okay, then Meghnath Shah made remarkable contribution in the field of astrophysics. He went abroad and stayed for two years in London and Germany. In 1927, Meghnath Shah was elected as a fellow of the London Royal Society. He joined the University of Allahabad in 1923 where he remained for the next 15 years. Over this period, he gained a lot of recognition for his work in astrophysics and was made President of Physics Section of Indian Science Congress Association in 1925. In 1938, he became a professor of physics at the University of Calcutta. He took several initiatives such as introducing nuclear physics in MSc's physics syllabus of the University of Calcutta, starting a post-MSc post course in nuclear science, and also took steps to build a cyclotron, the first of its kind in the country. Shah also invented an instrument to measure weight and pressure of the solar rays and helped to build several scientific institutions such as Department of Physics in Allahabad University and Institute of Nuclear Physics in Calcutta. He founded the journal Science and Culture and was its editor until his death. He was leading spirit in organizing several scientific societies such as National Academy of Science in 1930, the Indian Physical Society in 1934, Indian Institute of Science in 1935, and Indian Association for Cultivation of Science in 1944. A lasting memorial to him is the Shaha Institute of Nuclear Physics founded in 1943 in Kolkata. In addition, to being a great scientist, he also uh, was an able institution builder. He founded Indian Science News Association at Kolkata in 1935 and the Institute of Nuclear Physics in 1950. He is also credited with preparing the original plan of the Damodar Valley project. Other than being a scientist, he was also elected as a member of parliament. Besides, Saha's work relating to the reformation of Indian calendar was very significant. He was the chairman of Calendar Reform Committee appointed by the government of India in 1952. It was Saha's effort which led to the foundation of the committee. The task before the committee was to prepare an accurate calendar based on scientific study which could be adapted uniformly throughout India. It was mammoth task, but he did it successfully. Saha died 
on 16 February 1956. Satyendra Nath Bose. Satyendra Nath Bose came into the news in connection with the discovery of Higgs boson or popularly called cold par God particle. Satyendra Nath Bose was an outstanding Indian physicist. He is known for his work in quantum physics. He is famous for the Bose-Einstein theory and a kind of particle in atom has been named after him is boson. Satyendranath Bose was born in 1st January 1894 in Kolkata. His father Surendra Nath Bose was employed in engineering department of East India Railways. Satyendra Nath Bose was the eldest of seven children. Satyendra did his schooling from Hindu high school in Kolkata. He was a brilliant student and did his college from Presidency College, Kolkata with mathematics as his major. He topped the university in bachelor's and master's. In 1916, the University of Calcutta started MSc classes in modern mathematics and modern physics. Isen Bose started his career in 1916 as a lecturer in physics in the University of Calcutta. He served there from 1916 to 1921. He joined the newly established Dhaka University in 1921 as a reader in the Department of Physics. In 1924, Satyendra Nath Bose published an article titled Max Planck's Law and Light Quantum Hypothesis. This article was sent to Albert Einstein who appreciated it so much that he himself translated it into German and sent it for publication to a famous periodical in Germany uh, that is Detrigift for Physik. The hypothesis received great attention and was highly appreciated by the scientist who named it as Bose-Einstein theory. In 1926, Satyendranath Bose became a professor of physics in Dhaka University. Though he had not completed his doctorate till then, he was appointed professor of Einstein's recommendation. In 1929, Satyendranath Bose was elected as chairman of the physics session of Indian Science Congress and in 1944 as chairman of the Congress. In 1945, he was appointed as career professor of physics in University of Calcutta. He retired from Calcutta University in 1956. The university honored him on retirement by appointing him an emeritus professor. Later, he became the vice chancellor of Vishwabharati University in 1958. He was made a fellow of Royal Society London. Satyendranath Bose was honored with Padma Bhushan by Government of India in recognition of his outstanding achievements. He died in Kolkata on 4th February 1974. Salim Ali Dr. Salim Moizuddin Abdul Ali or Dr. Salim Ali is synonymous with birds. The famous ornithologist naturalist was born on 12 November 1896 in Mumbai. He is also known as Birdman of India. He pioneered a systematic survey on birds in India. His research work was shaped the course of ornithology in India to a great extent. A great visionary, he made birds a serious pursue when it used to be mere fun for many. Orphaned at a very young age, Salim Ali was brought up by his maternal uncle, Amruddin Thiabji, who introduced him to nature. A 10-year-old Salim once noticed a flying bird and shot it down, tender at heart. He instantly ran and picked it up. It appeared like a house sparrow, but had a strange yellowish shade on the throat. Curious, he showed the sparrow to his uncle and wanted to know more about the bird. Unable to answer, his uncle took him to W.S. Millard, the Honorary Secretary of Bombay Natural History Society, that is BNHS. Amazed at the unusual interest of the young boy, Miller took him to see many stuffed birds. 
When Salim finally saw a bird similar to the bird he had shot down, he got very excited. After that, the young Salim started visiting the place frequently. Ali failed to get an ornithologist position at Zoological Survey of India due to lack of proper university degree because he was dropped out of college. He, however, decided to study further after he was hired as a guide lecturer in 1926 as a newly opened natural history section in Prince of Wales Museum in Mumbai. He went on study leave in 1928 to Germany where he trained under Professor Erwin uh, Stressman at Zoological Museum of Berlin University. On his return to India in 1930, he discovered that the guide lecturer position had been eliminated due to lack of funds. Unable to find a suitable job, Salim Ali and his wife Tehmina moved to Kihem, the, a coastal village near Mumbai, where he began making his first observation of the Baya or Weaver Bird. And the publication of his finding on the bird in 1930 brought him recognition in the field of ornithology. Salim Ali was very influential in ensuring the survival of Bombay Natural History Society and managed to save the 200-year-old institution by writing to then Prime Minister Pandit Nehru for financial help. Dr. Ali's influence helped save Bharatpur Bird Sanctuary and Silent Valley Natural Park. In 1990, the Salim Ali Center for Ornithology and Natural History was established in Anaikati, Coimbatore, aided by Ministry of Environment and Forest, Government of India. He was honored with Padma Vibhushan in 1976. He died at the age of 90 on 20 June 1987. Panjanan Maheshwari, born in November 1904 in Jaipur, Rajasthan, Panjanan Maheshwari is a famous biologist. During his days, he was inspired by Dr. W. Dagyan, an American missionary teacher. Maheshwari invi invited, oh sorry, Maheshwari invented the technique of testive fertilization of angiosperms. Till then, no one thought that flowering plants could be fertilized in test tubes. Maheshwari's technique immediately opened up new avenues in plant embryology and found application in economic and applied botany. Crossbreeding of many flowering plants, which cannot crossbreed naturally, can be done now. The technique is proving to be of immense help to plant breeders. Maheshwari's teacher was expressed that if his student progressed ahead of him, it will give him the great satisfaction. The words encouraged Panchanan to inquire what he could do for his teacher in return. Dagyan had replied, do for your students what I have done for you. Meticulously following his teacher's advice, he trained a host of talented students. He pursued his postgraduate, uni postgraduate university education in botany at Allahabad University. He went to establish the Department of Botany in the University of Delhi as an important center of research in embryology and teaching culture. The department was recognized by the University Grants Commission as Center of Advanced Studies in Botany. Maheshwari was assisted by his wife in preparation of slides in addition to her household duties. Way back in 1950, he talked on contacts between embryology, physiology, and genetics. He also emphasized the need of initiation of work on agricultural culture of immature embryos. These days, tissue culture had become a landmark in science. His work on testive fertilization and intra-ovarian pollination won worldwide acclaim. He founded an international research journal, which is Phytomorphology, which he continued editing till his death in May 1966, 
and a popular magazine, The Botanica, in 1950. He was honored with Fellowship of Royal Society of London, Indian National Science Academy, and several other institutions of excellence. He also bought books for schools to improve the standard of teaching of life science. In 1951, he founded International Society of Plant Morphologists. B.P. Pal. B.P. Pal, the famous agricultural scientist, was born in Punjab on 26 May 1906. His family later moved to Burma, then a British colony, to work as medical officer. Pal studied in St. Michael's School in Miami, Burma. Apart from being a brilliant student, Paul was fond of gardening and painting. In 1929, Paul qualified for Masters in Botany in Rangoon University, where he also won the Matthew Hunter Prize for topping all science streams at the university. He was awarded a scholarship which permitted him to pursue his postgraduate education at Cambridge. Dr. Paul worked with Sir Frank Englido on hybrid vigor in wheat at the famous Plant Breeding Institute. The, this provided the basis for the design of the Green Revolution essentially based on the commercial exploitation of wheat hybrids. In March 1933, Dr. Paul was appointed Assistant Rice Research Officer in the Burmese Department of Agriculture. In October the same year, he moved to Pusa Bihar to become second economic botanist at Imperial Agricultural Research Institute, which was renamed Indian Agricultural Research Institute, IARI, in 1947. IARI was earlier located in Pusa Bihar, but after severe earthquake which damaged its main building, the institute was shifted to New Delhi in 1936. Dr. Paul was first Indian director at IARI in New Delhi and the institute was named Pusa in 1950. He continued to serve in that capacity until May 1965 when he became the first director general of the Indian Council of Agricultural Research, ICAR, he held this position from May 1965 to January 1972, during which period the Greek Revolution, the Green Revolution was launched with outstanding success. Dr. Paul's major contribution to the scientific aspects of Green Revolution was in an area of wheat genetics and breeding. He observed the rust disease and was last, largely responsible for the low yields of wheat and therefore developed a systematic breeding method to develop varieties of resistance to rust disease. The Indian was reeling under a severe food crisis and was known in the world as a country of starving people. Dr. Paul was instrumental in changing India's global image and it soon became an exporter of food grains. Dr. Paul was also a rose breeder of distinct and created several varieties. He was founder president of Rose Society and Bougainvillea Society. He also founded the Indian Society of Genetics and Plant Breeding and edited the Indian Journal of Genetics and Plant Breeding for 25 years. He was elected as a Fellow of Royal Society in 1972. He was awarded the Padma Shri in 1959, the Padma Bhushan in 1968, and Padma Vibhushan in 1987. He died on 14 September 1989. Homi Jahangir Baba. Homi Jahangir Baba, the main architect of Indian Atomic Energy Program, was born in Bej Parsi family on 30 October 1909 in Mumbai. He received his early education at Mumbai's Cathedral Grammar School and did his college in Elphinstone College. He went to Cambridge University, forced by his father and his uncle Dorabji Tata who wanted him to get a degree in mathematical engineering so that on his return to India 
he can join the tata mills in jamshedpur as a metallurgist baba illustrious family background had a long tradition of learning and service to the country the family both on his father's and mother's side was close to the house of tatas who had pioneered project in the fields of metallurgy power generations and science and engineering in the early half of the 20th century the family imbibed a strong nationalistic spirit under the influence of mahatma gandhi and nehru family the family also had interest in the fine arts particularly western classical music and painting that arose baba's aesthetic sensibilities and it remained a dominant influence in all the creative work he undertook during his lifetime baba after completion of his engineering switched over to physics during the period of 1930 to 1939 baba carried out outstanding original research relating to cosmic radiations this earned him a fellowship of the royal society in 1940 at young age of 31 baba returned to india in 1939 and had to stay back on account of the outbreak of second world war he was selected to work at the in- indian institute of science bangalore where sir c v raman india's first nobel laureate in science was at that time the head of the depart head of the department of physics initially appointed as reader baba was soon designated as professor of cosmic ray research Baba's leadership of atomic energy program spanned 22 years from 1944 till 1966. The Tata Institute of Fundamental Research was formally inaugurated in December 1945 in Kenilworth building and was Baba's ancestral home. In January 1966, Baba died in a plane crash near Mont Blanc while heading to Vienna. Austria to attend a meeting on International Atomic Energy Agency Vikram Ambalal Sarabhai fondly referred to as father of Indian space program Vikram Sarabhai was born in Ahmedabad on 12th August 1919 to an affluent family it was his early years at the private school that shaped his scientific bent of mind After studying at Gujarat College in the home town in 1937 he left for England to study physics at St John's College Cambridge there Sarabhai earned an undergraduate tripos degree that was the year 1940 and the whole world was facing second world war so Sarabhai returned to India and became a research scholar at Indian Institute of Science Bangalore where he studied the effects of cosmic rays it was at bangalore under the direct guidance of nobel laureate dr c v raman that he started setting up observatories in bangalore pune and himalayas soon after the war was over he returned to uk for a while Sarabhai received a PhD from Cambridge University for his path-breaking work. His real work began in 1947 along with meteorologist K. R. Ramanathan, who helped him establish the Physical Research Laboratories, Ahmedabad. Initially, it was consisted of rooms and at the science institute of ahmedabad education society analyzing the studying cosmic rays and atmospheric physics the scientists set up two dedicated teams at the site sarabhai's team realized that evaluating the weather was not enough to comprehend variations in the cosmic rays they had to relate it to the variations in solar activity He was pioneer research in the field of solar physics. With such a big big breakthrough in the hand, Sarabhai soon received financial support from Indian Council of Scientific and Industrial Research which is CSIR and Department of Atomic Energy. And the support did not just end there. 
he was asked to organize the Indian program for International Geophysical Year in 1957. Around this time, the erstwhile Soviet Union launched Sputnik 1. India, not too far away behind, decided to set up Indian National Committee for Space Research, chaired by Sarabhai. The visionary scientists set up India's first rocket launching stations, Tulls in Thumba on the coast of Arabian Sea on 21st November 1963 with the support of Homi Baba from the Atomic Energy Commission. 1966, Sarabhai was appointed as chairman of the Indian Atomic Energy Commission's following Baba ultimately demise Sarabhai's greatest achievement was the establishment of ISRO, which is Indian Space Research and Organization. He died in his sleep at 52 on 31st December 1971. The pioneering work of the space science and research done by Bikram, Dr. Bikram Sarabhai earned his Shanti Swarup Bhatnagar Medal in 1962 and Padma Bhushan in 1966. Vargas Kurian, fondly called the milkman of India, Vargas Kurian was born on 26 November 1921 in Korikot, Kerala. His father was a civil surgeon in Kochi. He granted in he graduated in physics from Loyola College, Madras, 1940, and then he did his B.E. in mechanical from the University of Madras. After completing his degree, he joined Tata Steel Technical Institute, Jamshedpur, from where he graduated in 1946. He then went to USA on a government scholarship to earn his master's in metallurgical engineering from uh, Michingham State University. He is famously known as architect of Operation Flood, the largest dairy development program in the world. Korean helped modernize the Anand model of creative uh, dairy development and thus engineered the white revolution in India and made India the largest milk producer in the world. He is founder of Gujarat Cooperative Milk Marketing Federation, the cooperative organization that manages the Amul food brand. Amul is globally recognized Indian brand and involves millions of Indians and gives direct control to farmers. Korean and his team were pioneers in inventing the process of making milk powder and condensed milk from buffalo's milk instead of cow's milk. Quality packed milk is now available in more than 1,000 cities throughout the length and the breadth of India. And this milk is with a difference pasteurized, packed, branded, owned by farmers. He was awarded the Padma Bhushan in 1999. He passed away in September 2012. M.S. Swaminathan. Mankombu Sambasivan Swaminathan was born on 7th August 1925 in Kodambakam, Tamil Nadu. The famous geneticist is known as the man behind India's Green Revolution, a program which, revolution, which revolutionized India's farming scenario by introducing high-yielding crops. The Time magazine placed him in Time's 20 list of most influential Asian people of the 20th century. He is the founder and chairman of M.S. Swaminathan Research Foundation. His physician father was an ardent follower of uh, Gandhi and it instilled a sense of patriotism in him. In college, he rejected more lucrative professions and studied agriculture. He almost became a police officer, but in 1949, fellowship in, uh, to study genetics in Netherlands changed his career path. In 1952, he learned, earned his PhD in genetics from Cambridge University and then did 
further studies in Wenskhan University. Then he returned down a professorship. He was clear about working away to India and working here for the betterment of our own country's poor food scenarios. He nurtured a vision to see a world devoid of hunger and poverty and advocated the cause of sustainable development. He also emphasized on preservation of biodiversity. Swaminathan brought into India seed developed in Mexico by the U.S. agricultural guru. Norman Borlaug and after crossbreeding them with local spices created a wheat plant that yielded much more gain than traditional types. Scientists at International Rice Research Institute, Institute was accomplished the same particle for rice. Eminent tragedy turned to a new era of hope and for Asia, paving the paving the way for Asian economic miracle in 1980s and 90s. Today, India grows about 70 million ton for wheat a year compared to 12 million ton to the early 60s. He served as a director. General of the Indian Council of Agriculture Research from 1972 to 79 and became Union Minister of Agriculture from 1979 to 80. He was the Director General in IRRI and became President of International Union of Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources. He received the Ro Roman Maxise Award for Community Leadership in 19 1971 and Indira Gandhi National Integrity Award in 2013. M.K. Vainu Bappu Manamali Kallat Vainu Bappu was born on 10th August 1927 to senior astronomer in the Z Nizamiya Observatory, Hyderabad. M. K. Vainu Bappu is considered is credited as the man behind the creation of Indian Institute of Astrophysics. One of the greatest astronomers of India, Vainu has contributed much of the revival of the optical astronomy in independent India. Be happy, joined the prestigious Harvard University on a scholarship after receiving his master's in physics from Madras University. Within a few months of his studies, he discovered a comet which was then named Bapu Bok Nevrik after him and his colleagues, Bart Bok and Godwin Nevrik. He completed his PhD in 1952 and joined Palmer University. He and Colin Wilson made an important observation about the luminosity of particular kind of star and it became, it came to be known as Bapu Wilson effect. The return, he returned in 1953 and played a major role in building Uttar Pradesh State Observatory in Nainital. In 1960, he took over as a director of Kodai Canal Observatory and situated a, long towards, a lot towards its modernization. He established the observatory with a colorful telescope in Kavalur, Tamil Nadu awarded with prestigious uh, Donhai Comet Medal by Astronomical Society of Pacific in 1949. He was elected president and of the International Astronomical Unit in 1979. He was elected honorary foreign fellow 
of the Belgium Academy of Science and honorary member of American Astronomical Society. He succeeded to establish Indian Institute of Astrophysics in Bangalore. He ambi his ambition to setting up of a powerful 2.34 meters telescope materialized in 1986, setting up a uh, 1986 four years after his death. Today, Bapu is regarded as the father of modern Indian astronomy.